Why is it that Gen Zers have a constant fear of missing out? Um, I think one thing to now acknowledge is that I think all the generations now suffer a little bit of FOMO because anyone at any time pulls out their phone and like, oh my God, they're on this great trip to Iceland. Oh my God, this person just got a promotion. He just got a car. I think, you know, everyone now, and the reason is, is because we're just, we can see what people are doing 24 seven, you know? And so the problem that challenge we have with Gen Z is it's taking place during their formative years. So while their ideas of the world are shaping, while the rest of us have FOMO, you know, we can maybe read a little bit deeper in it. Uh, well, this generation, you know, it's happening during their formative years. So one concern I have is that, you know, a lot of people post the highlights of their life. And so Gen Z is really seeing everyone's best. They don't know at the same time, maybe someone's having a great day and got a promotion, but a couple of days later got a bad review. Or, you know, maybe their project bombed. You don't see that post <laughs> on social media. So one thing we have to work with Gen Z is to realize you're seeing the highs. And with life, there's highs and there's lows. Let the highs inspire you, for sure, but realize that it's not like that at all times. And so if you're feeling like you're missing out, you know, there's a lot of great things that you're doing as well and that those same people also are having lows. Um, that'd be one thing. Another thing that I think we can work with Gen Z is because, I mean, their networks are so vast and their feed has everything. I need, think they need some help prioritizing. On one hand, if you think of, they're reading a feed about how, you know, somebody just got tickets to a concert, someone got a great score on a test, somebody died. I mean, it's just, it, there's just so many things. I'm like, how do I prioritize what's really important and what's just sort of, you know, fluff that goes away? And to them, it's sort of like everything might feel important and we need to help them decipher what's a priority and what isn't. Um, I think another issue with uh, FOMO and them being so dialed in is I think there will be a big difference, especially for businesses, between dialing into a fad and a trend. You might see a lot of people talking about it and they might feel, oh, we should be doing this, 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 and this, only for two days later to be dead. And suddenly, you know, the workplace might put some attention on something versus monitoring. Is that really something we're seeing again and again and again and a trend we should pay attention to? And I think workplaces, you know, might be so, oh, wow, this young person, he knows it all. They're hip and cool. Make sure that they're reporting into you a true, you know, trend and not just a fad that you can put some money on that's going to die soon. Because I'm not so sure Gen Zers can differentiate between fad and trend.